Hi all. Welcome to this uh, YouTube channel. I'm Prem Prabhakaran. Today let's discuss about digital. There are so many keywords on digital which is revolving around all of us. So let's try to understand what is the basic differences between digitization, digitalization and digital transformation. Because many people interchange these words and use it uh, for whichever purpose they have. So, so wh what exactly meant by digitization and what is the difference with other terminologies? So digitization means anything that can be changed into a digital form. So you have any manual process, move that into bits and bytes. So um, say for example, you have paperwork, you are moving this paperwork into a digital format or you're creating an app to capture the information or there are many uh, analog details which you are moving into digital or you are creating a workflow to eliminate the uh, manual discussions of paper signatures and all those things or an ERP implementation or, or a product implementation so anything that uh, tracks data points or anything that captures the manual information into a digital form is digitization when we add two more letters to it it is called digitalization but what is it is it the same it's not you might have heard about uh, analytics artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning and so many uh, advanced concepts so Digitalization is all about transforming the data to make better bus business decision making. So when you have the data points and when you digitize your activities, the next step is digitalization. So you have the data points, you have a historical data, you can make a trend out of it. You can automate this information. You can uh, make business models which can provide insights, reduce the cost, increase more revenue, and it can even bring new revenue streams to the business. So all these are part of digitalization. So digitalization is the next step where you uh, go a step further in business and optimize your cost and make more revenue or gain insights on your uh, business information. It's not that every digital model will give you more revenue. Uh, it can provide insight. It can help business. So if you have thousands of data and you're not able to understand or make out correlations between that with the digital tools and technologies and analytic models, you can actually make use of it. Or you can uh, fix an IoT device and capture more information and uh, on, on every second or every you know half a second you you capture the information and based on that you can run your business better so that's the power of uh, digitalization so that is why it is more important and that is how it is different than digitization so that's about digitalization now what is digital transformation essentially it's the same yes the concepts of digitalization and digital transformation is same but at the same time digital transformation is more about people than technology so you have seen how Amazon has changed the digital experience of people and business how it has transformed the industry as a whole so same way using the digital technologies if you are able to change the way things are working <clears throat> or the, the way uh, business is functioning or the people mindset, the culture, if it can improve further to make uh, better benefit for the organization, that is what digital transformation is all about. So it's, it's not only uh, limited to technology, it is more of people. So it's a strategy driven transformation is, is essentially a digital transformation. 
So on a digital transformation, the customer experience, the operational process, everything will be revamped. So you start thinking uh, from your business to your customer's business. So you have a supplier, you have your own uh, business and then you have your own customers. So this entire value chain is connected through a digital transformation. So you, you pass on your requirements. So the more the technology has improved, uh, you have, you know, uh, ad hoc requirements. And these requirements are passed on to your vendors and you understand their limitations or their uh, capabilities, both, both sides. And then, so this entire value chain start from your, your supplier to your manufacturing unit or your business or your sales or your, your whichever functions you're operating and then to your customer. So when you deliver something to your customer, how he can sell his products to his end customers. So how you can help your customer to improve their business. So definitely they will have more requirements and you will have to accommodate more requirements. But the, the, the point is everything is interconnected and everybody is working as partners. So naturally, when you are into the digital transformation journey, you are more agile and you can respond to the market demands faster. So this helps your organization and your business and your, your entire value chain. So that's the whole purpose of digital transformation as a whole. So it's not limited to a technology, but it is more of people and the mindset and the, and the transformation as an entire uh, value chain. So I hope uh, this video finds useful to you. Please let me know your comments on this. Please like and subscribe. Uh, and, and the next videos I'll be coming up with uh, digital leadership, digital strategies and the digital innovation and more on Python analytics and all those uh, digital tools and techniques. So thank you all. Thanks for watching.